Hello. I would like to talk about uh, how we can track all activity that is going on inside the platform. So imagine that I have this fake workflow where um, it simulates doing a little bit of work, going through some nodes, and then it ends up being done. So if something goes wrong, or if something is taking a long time during this workflow, sometimes it can be quite hard figuring out what was actually causing that and where were it slow. Um, so you can use the node red debugger. Uh, in OpenRP, you can use the debugging tools. I mean, there, there are tools for these things, but another way to do it is using the monitoring tools. So if I go into Jaeger, which will show spans collected using OpenTelemetry Collector, I will be able to see the run my workflow that I just did. And if I click it, I can see timing information about all the different nodes that was part of this workflow and how long it spent at each part and some of the properties of each of those nodes as it went through them. Um, if I need a better overview of what the process actually looked like, I can create a graph that shows how it's initializing and then looping over some things using the switch node. Um, I can do the same for OpenRPA, right? So if, if, if I run the MyCRM demo, uh, which download MyCRM, downloads an Excel file, and then it types in these 10 random names into MyCRM, to simulate the robot doing some work. I can still do the same thing. I can go to OpenRPA and I can find the workflow and I can see all the different activities that was part of doing that workflow. So again, now I have very accurate information about what was going on and how long each thing took. Um, and I can also get a, get a better overview of what it's actually doing. Again, it was setting up, downloading, and then looping over each of the entries, the entries in, in the Excel file. Um, but one of the things that came lately is the ability to also track across different components inside OpenFlow. So imagine that I have a workflow which uh, queries some entries in the database. Um, I have that workflow here and now you can see that it both spans OpenRPA and OpenFlow. So I now have the option to actually see that it started with sequence, it did a write line, it then did an OpenRPA query and OpenFlow then handled that query and then it went through the for each, right? Um, and again, um, so this also spans to Node Red, right? So inside Node Red, I have this delay test, which basically just updates the payload, waits two seconds, and returns. And I can call that workflow from um, from the robot. So here I can call delay test, and I can type out what result I get. So if I run this workflow, it calls OpenFlow, it gets back the new payload. Um, and if I then go back to Jaeger and find traces, you can see started call node red. You can see it spans open up here, node red and open flow. And here I can see how each part were activated and did stuff as part of running that workflow. Uh, I can even graph it out if I want to. Um, this also goes the other way. So if open up uh, if open up here is activated from node red i can actually keep track of that so imagine that i have something that is um, waiting on something to happen inside the database and then triggers a workflow um, and as you can see now completed and if i go back to jaeger you can see that here were Node Red activating something, going to OpenFlow, OpenFlow went to OpenRPA, and you know all the way back. So here we have something that started from OpenFlow, triggered something in Node Red, Node Red triggered something in OpenFlow, which triggered something in OpenRPA, and sent the result back. And again, we can see timing information about everything. We can see database requests, message queues, everything that happened, and therefore 
have a much better way of pinpointing if there are uh, issues with, with timing or heavy load on something or just something that takes too long. Um, so the way this hat works is that all components are sending data to open telemetry and open telemetry is then forwarding uh, in this case spans to Jaeger. Um, if you don't like the Jaeger interface, uh, I do, you can also use Sipkin or you can actually use Grafana. So let's say that I want to see what happened inside OpenRPA, I can actually make a query towards the Jaeger selector, uh, query, <laughs> query uh, and get the list of, of traces that actually happened. I can see how many uh, spans is being sent. Um, and, and if I then want to see what actually happened during that workflow, I can then actually see all the information in Zygrafana. So we can actually now gather all our performance counters and all our traces in Zygrafana. I generally think that using Jaeger uh, has some benefits, but this is absolutely cool if you want to stay in, in just Grafana or just need really quickly to, to look up something. I hope that was helpful and uh, good luck.